Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tim Jones. Join me as I draw with notes and stuff. In this video, we're going to take a look at the calligraphy tool and how to draw with that, how to ink. Uh, that's with a pen tablet. If you don't use a pen tablet, you only have a mouse, then I'll show you a quick, easy way to emulate the calligraphy tool using the pen tool. So let's crack on, turn the text off on this layer open up my reference pick. This is my scruffy little drawing that I'm working on at the moment, but it's ideal just to demonstrate inking over the top. So let's turn on the calligraphy tool layer and select the calligraphy tool. So over on the left hand side, you'll see a selection of brushes. Now, the stock ones are tracing, splotchy, wiggly, brush, marker, and dip pen. And these are ones that I've added myself, and I'll show you how to create those shortly. Uh, tracing is, uh, helps if you have a bit of color in the pen, doesn't it? Here we go. Turn off the stroke, don't need that. Okay, so, into wonderful on that one and uh, we've got what's the next one splotchy yeah that's rubbish don't want that one and wiggly yeah they're not too great are they you sort of get in the picture they're pretty rubbish brush yeah it's not going well, is it? Why would anyone want to use those? Marker. Yeah, yeah. It's not great, guys, is it? And dip pen. Let's pull that down. Well, that's not too bad. You could, you could actually work with that, couldn't you? Yeah, not too bad at all. So that's a good starting point for creating your own pens. And I would highly recommend you do that. The stock ones, as you've seen with Inkscape, are not too great. So start off with a dip pen. Choose the size you want. Now bear in mind, I'm using a, a Wacom tablet, a pen tablet. So there's pressure sensitivity going on here. So I can control the pressure. So I can have a really thin line and then a really thick line, or I can combine the two just by pressing down. You can't do that with a mouse. So that's why the calligraphy tool with a pen tablet is, is really fun. So set your width to whatever you want. Uh, that activates the pen pressure. So now it's just a constant line. Doesn't matter how hard or soft I'm pressing. It's just the same line. Get rid of those. Back into the calligraphy tool turn the pressure sensitivity back on. This one uh, changes the thickness of the line depending on the color background. So if it's white background, um, it gives a thinner line. If there's a black background, it gives a thicker line. Um, quite why you would want that, I don't know. If anyone knows the answer, then let me know in the comments below. Um, thinning, this one can be quite useful. So what this does is the faster you move the pen across your tablet, the thinner the line gets. So if I change that to 50, and then I draw a really slow line, you can see it's consistently thick. Now, if I use the same pressure, but then speed up, you can see it thins the line, even though I'm keeping the same constant pressure, because I move faster, it thins the line. Now this can be really nice and create some wonderful smooth flowing lines when you get used to drawing with your tablet. The next one is angle. That's angle of the nib of your pen. If you imagine your the calligraphy tool is like a, a traditional ink pen with a nib. Um, so you can set the angle to 30 degrees, 45 degrees. Really cool if you're doing um, calligraphy style writing. Fixation that is the way the end 
of the nib faces so as you move in different directions the angle at the end moves now you can set that to be constant so it will always be a 90 degree angle to the direction of your stroke or you can as i've done there reduce that down from 100 which is the fixed position um, so it just moves slightly with your stroke and that's what i prefer to do but play around with the settings find what you like the next one is caps i don't recommend that one it can be really glitchy all it does is it puts a little cone shape on the end um, if you go higher than one maximum setting for that is five but if you go higher than one it starts flicking the end off and it doesn't matter which direction you you travel your line it jets off at a funny angle so not really worth having that one on there these are quite fun tremor and wiggle so let me push those up to about 20 and then you can get this really organic line it reminds me of a 2b pencil and it's quite nice and you'll see from the list i've got a 2b pencil in there so i really like that but not all the time and then finally you've got mass and what mass does is it puts weight on the line so if you imagine the inked line is really heavy and your the line is connected to your pen by a piece of elastic so as you move your pen across the screen you're pulling this heavy weighted ink line behind and it just helps to smooth out the line you get some really nice smooth curves if you take the mass off and then try and draw that line you can see it's a bit shaky a bit ugly not too nice so again play around with this setting find one that suits you and you can get some really nice smooth flowing lines okay so if you want to you can see from this list if you want to save your own pens you can do that and it's really really simple just change all the settings that you want along there like we've just done and then click on this little icon next to it, it looks like a spanner just click on that and you get add profile come up just type a name so we'll put let's call it new pen and then save and you'll see that it's now in the drop down list new pen okay if you want to delete a pen then just highlight it in your list click on the little cog and you'll see the edit profile dialog box pop up again with the name of your pen just hit delete and that's now gone from your list you can delete the stock pens as well but the next time you start inkscape they'll be back so i don't know if there's a way to permanently get rid of those i've not investigated that yet i'll have to get back to you guys on that one in the future so that's that out of the way we've seen how to set up our pens how to save the pen how to delete a pen so what we need to do now is use the pen so let me clear these off get rid of those make sure that our layer is active okay zoom out a little bit yeah that'd be all right i think let's try select our calligraphy tool i'm going to go for my second dip pen just check do a few practice lines yep that's looking good excellent okay so the thing to do now is make sure that you're reference picture is on its own layer and locked and then obviously put your inking layer above make sure it's unlocked and you're good to go select the click with your tool and start inking start off with a thin line and thicken as you get to the bottom i'm going to pull that mass up a little bit i think start with a thin line 
and Dickon hit the bottom. Okay, you can push and pull your line around with the selection tool, so don't worry about that. There we go, makes it nice. And then press C on the keyboard to bring up your calligraphy tool. And then it's just about drawing your lines where you want them, thinking about line weight, thinking about where the shadow would be. Do I want that's better. Uh, thinking about the material, how it's gonna fall. Just trying to get some flow. Nice and soft to start with. Thinking about the shadows. Okay, let's do this side. Nice and thin to start, thickening at the bottom. And flick up. Cool, like that. Someone. So you can see the way you can build up your lines. It's nice, organic. It feels like a traditional ink pen. But we've got some overlapping lines here. It's a bit of a mess that we need to clear up. So there's an easy way to do that with the eraser tool. So what we do is zoom in a little bit so we can just see what we're doing. And then grab the eraser tool. And you'll see you've got two options here. You've got cut, um, delete and cut out. Delete will delete the entire shape and then cut out will cut a line through. So if I select delete and select delete and draw a line across the line I want to delete, it will delete it. Z to get back. Sorry the screen's glitching a bit, it's because I'm doing the screen recording and zoomed in. I think it's maybe it's glitching a little bit, so sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do is select the cutout mode. Um, use quite a small eraser with a mass of about 42. The mass does the same as the calligraphy tool, so as you brush with the eraser you get a nice smooth consistent line rather than uh, a wobbly line that could end up um, causing you problems. This button here creates a double selection so as you cut through the line it automatically separates the two parts and selects them whereas otherwise you'd have to go into path, break apart, then select your selection tool, then select the Bit you don't want so it just cuts down on a bit of time so to tidy up this line what we do is select it first and what that enables us to do is only erase this line the eraser will not affect any other line so pick up the eraser and it won't erase anything it won't erase it won't erase it will only erase our selection so we can go through and you can see we've automatically because of this button we've got two selections pick our, our selection tool sorry click off to deactivate select our off cut and delete 
select the line we want to erase, shift E on your keyboard and then slice through, S on your keyboard for the selection tool, click off to deactivate, click on the off cut and delete. So I'll do that again, select the line we want to trim, pick up the eraser or press shift E on your keyboard, slice through, S on your keyboard for the selection tool, click away, click back on your off cut and delete. And there you go, and that's using the calligraphy tool to ink your artwork. And you can do freehand sketching with the calligraphy tool, you can use it for inking like we've done here. But what do you do if you don't have a pen tablet, if you only have a mouse? Well there's a really good trick for emulating this effect. So let me lock that layer and unlock this one, activate. So I'm going to switch over to my mouse now and bear with me because I don't use a mouse very often in Inkscape so if I'm wobbly and a bit weird with it just bear with me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and emulate this thick and thin line situation by using the pen tool. Now smoothing, I usually push that up so that gives you nice smooth nodes, it basically reduces the number of nodes and smooths out your lines. For shape, if you click on triangle in, that will give you a triangular shape as your line. So click, click once for the first node, click twice and you've got a line. Now this is where the magic happens. If you now select your node tool or press N on the keyboard, you'll see that one of the nodes is purple and one of the nodes is grey. This basically is a power stroke and this node can adjust the thickness of the line. So if you click on the node, hold down the left mouse button and pull, you can thicken the line. Okay. Now you can also adjust the position of this purple node. You can move it and now we've got what looks like a nice inked pen line. Click on it again with the note tool but we can keep moving this. We can now create a nice thin to thick to thin line which can be really nice for inking with and then we can take the thickness all the way to the other end. So we can basically position this node where we want. But it doesn't stop there. Because this is a power stroke, we can create multiple points along this line. What you do is press down the control key, left click on the purple node, let go of the control key and now left click and drag the, your new node along the line. So now we're going to thin to thick, but that's not too great. It's a little bit boring, a little bit predictable. So let's do that again. Let's create a new power node. Control, left click and drag. Let's thin it down in the middle. All of a sudden you can see that we're starting to create something that resembles a nice traditional inked line. Now you imagine using this on your drawing, you're going to create something that looks like this. So let's do that. Let's do a bit of inking on this side and then compare it the two. So pencil, first node, second node. Put your pencil back on the node so it turns red. Click again, you can extend the line and finish. 
okay so we've basically got this triangular shape now click N on your keyboard or pick up the node tool second one down and pull your lines around manipulate the lines the way you want them to look just configure get that sleeve looking the way you want add more nodes if you want to press down control and alt on your keyboard and then left click on the line you can add extra nodes in and just manipulate the line take a bit of time the more you get used to this the quicker you will get and then grab that purple node and pull it down pull it down until you get the thickness of line that you want and you can see that looks like a really nice inked line it's going to be more it's going to be smoother than the calligraphy brush but it's going to give you a digital effect of the of this this is mimicking traditional hand inking and this is mimicking this so there's a trade-off but sometimes I quite like this effect so let's do that again let's click down here one two bring the pen tool back over till it highlights red join and then finish off at the top press N for the node tool now this red line here is the path and you can turn that on and off by using this button up there I just like it because it shows me where the adjustment is so I can grab it quickly just move your lines around take a bit of time smooth them out okay and then grab your node just thicken the line where you want it and there you go and you can see that what we're doing is creating something similar to this but with a mouse so let's carry on and do a little bit more again click at the top of the sleeve second click no tool n on the keyboard or travel over there i just like using keyboard shortcuts to be honest think about the weight of the material pulling down grab your purple node and pull it until you get the thickness you want p on the keyboard for pen tool pull down click in on the keyboard and then adjust your nodes thinking about the weight of the material pulling grab that purple node pull it and get your line width weight rather sorry the line weight P on the keyboard N for the node tool And just keep adjusting pick up the purple node okay and pull it down and don't forget if you need a second purple node it's control click and drag and you you'll pull out your second node so P for pencil and I'm gonna make this crease go to there N for the node tool pull down get your weight at the bottom there you go it's starting to look really good now I'm liking this and for no tool pull down get your weight excellent just finish up this side of the sleeve P for your pen tool click once click twice N for the node tool and pull thinking about the weight of the material 
think about where your shadows are going to be. Okay, and don't don't be frightened to adjust things, move things around. Thinking about that weight. Okay. P for the pen tool. N for the node tool. And pull that purple node to adjust your line thickness. And then P. In and pull to adjust. And there you go. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you like that. That's inking with the calligraphy tool with a pen tablet and then inking with the pen tool with a mouse. Hope you found that instructive and helpful. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Any comments? put them down below and if you'd like to join us on Facebook in the Inkscape Draw Freely group come and say hi my name's Tim Jones and this is Drawing with Notes and Stuff. <laughs>